वेलकम बैक स्टूडेंट सो आई गेस बाय दैट टाइम यू मस्ट हैव रिवाइज ऑल योर कंसेप्ट एंड फंड आज बिकॉज आई एम गोना थ्रो जे क्वेश्चन नाउ टू यू गाइज विच विल एड टू योर कॉन्फिडेंस वेन यू एबल टू सॉल्व इट सो हियर लेट्स बिगिन विद द जे क्वेश्चन राउंड लेट्स बिगिन सो नाउ गाइज विल डू सम जे क्वेश्चन सो डैट योर कॉन्फिडेंस विल गेट बूस्ट अप ओके बी रेडी फॉर इट द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन द रेडियस of which of the following orbit is same as that of first bohr's orbit of hydrogen atom so see you have to remember the formula which i discuss in the niels bohr model for radius here are the options h plus li2 plus li li2 plus when n is equal to 2 li2 plus when n is equal to 3 the value of n is also given guys okay and b is 3 plus when n is equal to 2 so what you can do this in this type of question guys in this type of question you know that your r <coughs> is directly proportional to n square by z right n square by z so if it's saying that first bore orbit of hydrogen atom so that means you have to take n is equal to 1 and for hydrogen my z is equal to 1 means my r value it should get cancel out means it should be 1 for any of these options <coughs> sorry so now if you check it out then <coughs> individually you have to check and for example you can check that r dash for this will be how much this will be proportional to n square by z that means 4 by what is z value here atomic number is 2 right It, it it will give two, so that is incorrect. That's why this is not the correct answer. Check for Li two plus n is equal to two, so your R dash will be directly proportional to four by three, right? Three is the atomic number. Again, this is this is this is not the correct. If I go for Li two plus and n is equal to three, then then can I have that? Let's check it out. If I go for that, then my r dash will be proportional to what was n is equal to 3 right so it will be proportional to 9 by 3 so then it will give me again 3 but i need one guys i am not getting it right so i think only one option is left here we'll check that option as well so <coughs> that is r dash proportional to n is 2 so 4 by the z atomic number value is also 4 yeah so it is 1 so that's why the correct answer will be correct answer will be what it will be d okay the correct answer will be d which is b e 3 plus okay b e 3 plus for n is equal to 2 this is the correct answer all three options are wrong here. okay <coughs> Come to this question, guys. Right? Which of the following orbitals have no nodal plane? Now, nodal plane. If I go to the slides which I just saw you right in discussing the orbitals, then just imagine what you were seeing there. What was the orbital shape? Where you finding the nodal planes? of course it is there in the px right px you have two dumbbells and then one nodal plane so it is the wrong answer in dxy also it is but in dz square there is no nodal plane so this is the correct answer also for as that orbital it also don't have the nodal plane so both c and d both will be the correct answer for this i hope you understand it third question guys the magnetic moment of cobalt of the compound hgco cn4 is given given what co2 plus means co the cobalt has a having two plus of oxidation state here this is a coordination compound guys and you have to ask you have to find the magnetic moment of cobalt what is the formula for magnetic moment of cobalt that is root of n 
into n plus 2 where n is the number of unpaired electron value okay so i have i have to check the number of unpaired electron that's it so if i if i go co2 plus the electronic configuration of co is what it is uh, 4s2 and 3d7 right and 3d7 so that means i have this one so 1 2 3 4 5 6 seven right and 4s2 okay this is my 4s this is my 3d so 4s2 and 3d7 now co2 plus again guys if you are removing the electron that electron will get removed from the outer shell outer shell is a 4s so these two electron will get removed and this is left so how many number of unpaired electrons so number of unpaired electrons unpaired electrons that is that is how much that is 3 so just use this formula root over 3 into 3 plus 2 so that means root of 15 so c is the correct answer guys c is the correct answer let's check out this question the maximum number of electrons that can have principal quantum number 3 and spin quantum number ms that is equal to minus half again for this question you have to draw the orbitals the number of possible orbital for this configuration if n is equal to 3 so if my n that is equal to 3 so my l value can take how much 0 1 2 2 right i can take 0 1 and 2 that means i can have either this one or i can have <coughs> this one or i can have d as well right 1 2 3 4 5 or the same and it is also given that spin quantum number ms that is equal to minus half that means only one electron you have to take so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so i think you got the answer now right the answer will be d part 9 question has come in j 2011 okay and this question guys the electrons they identifies by quantum number n n l n is equal to 4 l is equal to this this and this so can be placed in the order of increasing as what so first of all <coughs> as i have told you n plus l rule just apply that thing nothing else you had to so for this it will be 5 for this it will be 4 okay and right here only 5 4 again 5 and 4 again see you can see that there are two pairs okay in which my n plus l is same so in that with that also you have to check the smallest value of n that will be the lowest energy out of those two so first of all uh, in that increasing order it has been asked so i will check for the lowest one so lowest one is 4 and out of those four also who will be the lowest the lowest will be the d part why because n is 3 so in which of the option the first is d that is already here okay that is already here so obviously this gonna be the correct answer because this is the lowest let's check the further then it's saying it's b because it will be b the n plus l is 4 right then out of these two again n value the least is here three so that's why c will come and then a will come so i hope now you understood what i mean by n plus l rule and its application right what is this orbital this will be 5p this will be 4s this will be 3d and this will be 3p okay that's all i think you have practiced much 
and you have to boost up your confidence by practicing still more questions okay and you will see that you have become uh, uh, you know in intellectual in this chapter of atomic structure which is very important as far as you know your every topic is concerned every topic is related with the atomic structure okay the models the electronic configuration the application you will see in the periodic classification chemical bonding also so that's it if you have any doubts in this chapter you can log on to www.askitens.com there you can go to our discussion board and you can post your question by choosing your category you have to select your category and you can post your question here we experts at ask itens will answer to your question or doubts within 24 to 48 hours so hello students i hope you must have enjoyed the question round okay j question round and i ho hope this too that you must have solved those question before me solving that right which added a feather to your crown, which added confidence, which boosted your confidence, I must say, which is very, very important in cracking any exam, whether it's a school exam or a competition exam, and J exam especially. Confidence is a must thing. So now let's summarize one by one what we have studied in structure of atom in brief. First of all, I told you about the introductory part, what atom is. Then we discuss about then we discuss about Dalton's atomic model. Then I told you about discoveries of electron, proton, neutron, right? Then we get through the J.J. Thomson, Rutherford, Niels Bohr model, various models which were, you know, proposed by different scientists of atoms. Then I told you about the electromagnetic radiation, the spectrum, the hydrogen spectrum series, right? And we come to know about the duality nature of particle sorry, duality nature of matter as a particle, as a wave. And then the latest model, the latest model of Edwin Stroessinger of quantum mechanical model of atom. And after that, we, you know, learned various rules to fill electrons in various orbitals like S, P, D, F. I hope you must have now become the bond of this chapter of structure of atom and able to solve any question based upon this chapter. For more videos on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology, you can stay tuned with www.askitens.com.